This was $12, so I doubt that it's humid, but I feel as though it says I can heat it up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, so. I got 30 inches just to be safe, but I only got one pack. I think I may need two packs, but so I think one pack should do, and do it, but I want the ends to be curly, and I also want like curly pieces poking out randomly throughout the braid as well, so. Let's see how this goes, and I hope it goes well because, so I already moisturized my hair, TGIN, and then I went over it with Nature's Blessing. All right, Nature does not want to be blessed today. I seen this video on YouTube, well, on Instagram, how it's like all these holding um, jams and things are in that of the sort are toxic, blah, 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 blah. Just like, listen, they went down all the list of the edge controls that we all use. I'm just like, what well, I'm gonna do? If it's toxic, it's toxic. Like, what? You think that's gonna stop me from using this? Come on, man. I, I, nah, no funny. I might have to do that. Buy a frontal separately and then just buy these at the hair store. And this bundle not even that like thin. Anyways, I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. Anyways. Okay, I'm only gonna take tiny pieces. Tiny pieces. Okay, this is how far we've gotten so far. So I'm just gonna do the last roll with you guys, show you guys how I do it. Bear me guys, this part was kind of very difficult, so I'm gonna try my best to explain it if the camera will do its best to focus. I definitely start off by just taking some jam, putting it on my scalp, well on the hair, and then I'll braid my own hair at least three plots before I even add any type of hair. So once, twice, All right, you could braid again. You got this, girl. You braid, braid again. Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling to make this thing focus, y'all. Mm-hmm, yeah. I said three plots, it better not be. Oh, yep, yep, I think I got it. Three plots. And that's when I just start adding the hair. Well, I guess I could do four plots, okay. I'm ODN now. But, I tuck it underneath my finger and then I put the other one on top. Worst explanation I know, but you have to see it to really know what I'm talking about. So I'll add the, thing, the hair underneath my thumb, then I'll release it and then when I braid it, I'll braid my index finger. And I just keep adding hair, but this time, I'm just gonna keep braiding it because I don't want it to be too thick. I kind of want it a small um, braid, a skinny braid, I mean. So I just keep braiding until it's time to add the curly piece. And 
and because I don't braid towards me, I'm going to flip the hair. I'm gonna flip the entire braid actually. So I flip the entire braid so I'm braiding outwardly and not towards me. See, I'm braiding outwardly. Now when I add the curly piece, I'm gonna that flat end, you want that end to be the shortest one and you're gonna braid that into the braid, not the op other way around. The long curly piece is gonna be the one that's poking out. So that flat end, you just hold it, you put it behind the braid and you leave the middle braid alone. And once I do that first braid, I just take it out and I eat it. <laughs> I eat the braid, but I hold it in my mouth and I just keep braiding and that flat piece, like I said, will be short and I just keep braiding it down. I know this is probably like the worst explanation you ever gotten from somebody, but I'm sorry. It's better to show you in person than to do it on the camera. And now while I get towards the end, I keep braiding until at least I'm three fourths of the way or after I braided the other previous hair. I'll take the hair and that flat end, I don't want that end to be the end sticking out. So I'll make it as short as possible. I hold the, I'll match it up to the opposite ends and leave the middle out. And I want to make sure that the, for the curly ends, I make sure that the curly hair passes the length of the braided hair, of the um, expression hair. Then I braid it as usual. And I pull the middle, that little curly piece, I pull a little bit so it can tighten up. So it's not so obvious that I add a hair in that specific area. And I braid all the way down until the Kanekalon hair is finished. And now if you're fancy and you want to be that person, you want to cut off the flyaways you can go ahead but I'm not one of them so I just left it and then when the ends I just curl against each other Okay, I'm officially done. I have some hot water on here. I didn't want to dip it, so I'm just going to steam it a little bit. Just. This water's hot, so. I don't know how I feel about the blunt ends, but it's too late now, so it is what it is. I'm scared to show you how the parting is trash. 
but Right, this is it folks I just want to thank you guys for watching staying along I don't know how these curls are gonna hold up after um, a few days but until then I'm gonna enjoy it oh. don't forget to like comment and subscribe I really appreciate it and until I see you guys in my next video